And since your arrival in China in 79, what surprised you most? Well, of course, the, the surprise in China is the huge development that has taken place in China, um, which began at that time when Deng Xiaoping talked about opening up and opened uh, an economic free zone in the southwest of China. Um, since that time, China has been transformed and has achieved in about 30 years what most countries in the West took 150, possibly 200 years to do. You have the massive migration in China today, the biggest in human history ever, I'm told. And you see the migrant workers all over the cities. I often say when I see the articles in the newspapers about the great architects and the great engineers who build the modern buildings in China, and how great they are for doing this. And I think the people who are building modern China are the migrant workers. I've got, gone back to the places where the migrant workers come from, and they are as traditional as they were a thousand years ago. Uh, courtyards and houses and farms. And it's very sad as well, because they have, um, they have a description for this now, but I can't remember the name of it, where you have left in many of these villages only old women, mothers and children. The men are, and old men, the, the grandfathers, the grandfathers and the grandmothers, all the rest are gone off to, um, to make money. And of course, the positive side of that is they're sending the money back to educate their kids. But there must be a huge price being paid in terms of, um, of uh, growth and uh, maturity of the, of the children that are growing up. But this is massive. Coming back from Shanghai the other day, I, I was looking through the, through the train windows and I, the amount of bridges and overpasses, the amount of roads, I mean, like we have nothing like it here. Now, I'm hearing in recent times that the planes are getting later and later in China. I've never had a late plane in China, nor a late train, and they're extremely comfortable. I traveled about 30 years ago on a train that, that took me something like 30 hours to travel from one place to the other. Now it's something like five hours. So there's been a massive transformation of the society as a whole. And the great thing as well, that in recent times, a statue of Confucius was put up in Tiananmen Square because the leadership today are seeing that all this modern, purely economic development is not enough to hold China together. There's a, there's a web of values that needs to be reconstructed and re-put in place to hold China together. And that web is being drawn from the history of China, notwithstanding the efforts of some of the leaders in the 50s and the 60s to wipe it out.